Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I want to continue this one, this quest, uh, our conquest, but thank you treasure trail and is busy completing. So we do that first. Oh, can you? Oh, yes, yes. They have the audacity to go after anything. The seven dragons, gods. No ancient artifact that relates can escape their greedy ambitions. Still, this time is different. Who do they think they are going after the Abyss Order's treasures? Abyss Order's treasures. Oh, Traveler, it's you. Huh? Ganyu, what are you doing here with Lan? Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarder should know better than to mess with the <laughs> abyss. It's just too evil. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mondstadt are two planning big some big joint operations. Two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mondstadt. Two big-time treasure hoarders? Yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and Raptor <laughs> of the North. Big Sis and Raptor? Ah, oh, Raptor! I oh wait, Raptor, we heard that. We heard that name before. Amber and yeah. But who is Big Sis of the South? Mm, the boss of the treasure orders, maybe? You already know something then. I guess you must have crossed paths with the treasure hoarders many times before. You are correct. She's the head of the treasure hoarders in Liyue. As I understand it, the treasure hoarders all call her boss. Some say that the god of thieves even bestowed a gift upon her for her exploits, making her big sis of the gods. <laughs> but that's probably just a wild rumor. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. <laughs> they have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins. Then, send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. Expert thief inside? To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have reportedly recruited a certain Grand Thief from Fontaine. Grand Thief? That's quite an impressive sounding title. Oh, indeed. He is an extraordinary individual. The Grand Thief is highly respected in the treasure orders. In the same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. Just like the great adventure Stanley, just like the famous adventure Alice. Ah, so you're familiar with the author of the Tavat Travel Guide then? Correct. The Grand Thief is someone as renowned as her. So, despite being relative big timers in Liwa and Mondstadt, Big Sis and Raptor had to put in a lot of work to convince a thief of his status to come and personally oversee this operation. With the major changes in Liwa recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith already have their hands full. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. But anything related to the Abyss makes me feel like there is some unknown danger lurking beneath the surface. So I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. I don't understand the dangers of the Abyss. Mm -hmm. Leave this commission to us! Oh, thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. Okay, that is part of... Uh... Or is it? That was something else. <laughs> I think that was the Tianchu one, not, not the... Oh no, that was. That was it. Yeah, that was it. Okay, that is part of the Archon quest. Now let me just do this because we just <laughs> did this as well. Why not? Okay, parametric transformer. What is this? You must use elemental text to generate enough energy for the. After obtaining, you must wait seven days to use it again. Ooh, seven days to use it once again. Okay, I better find information about this first. Uh. So, yeah, I won't do this now. Whatever that this transformer thing is. Uh, let's go back and tell. Okay, I'll tell Len again. 
Parametric trans- Oh, what? Can transport materials and convert to some other material? You can dispose unwanted inventory. <gasps> oh! Okay, that is useful. I see. Okay, yeah, I need to figure out uh, some more information about this transformer thing. In a trade war, the it's perfect useful. hunter leaves no trace. Anyway, uh, I, I don't want to dally with the other quest. I want to focus back on this. There's a ruins down here? Explore Call of the Abyss What? Recommended 46, okay, I'm still over leveled <laughs> Follow the treasure hoarders Okay, this is some domain Dungeon Um, I have to fly somewhere. Okay. There aren't many guards here. Yeah. Looks like the plan to draw away the Abyss Order's forces really worked. Well, I see Hilly Chills down there. Another right down the resurrection? This looks easy. <laughs> More signs that a treasure hoarder was here! Mm -hmm. This should be the right direction. But what? why does it feel stranger and stranger as we make it deeper into these ruins? What the heck? <laughs> um be what careful are these? now. Hyman's right behind you. Okay, what the heck is this? How do you... I need maybe Amber to destroy this. Oh gosh. Oh wait, I got new one though. Maybe I can. No, I can't. Ah! Oh, Rude. Wait. Give up. No, it doesn't work. All right, I'm out. Ah! Ooh, I nearly fell. What the heck is this place? Okay. Uh, can I mind this now? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Another common chest. No cards at all, it's only some hilly chills. <laughs> Where are the treasure holders? Where is the abyss order? Eh? Is that a treasure holder? This yeah. looks like a person. Could it be the Grand Thief? Why is he in that position? Is he praying to something? Or is he dead? <gasps> hmm? That's... What is that? A statue of the seven? Really? Oh, by upside down it might look like it. Let's say it might be a statue. I don't... If it's a statue, I don't think it's a statue though. Uh, why is yeah, the it is upside down. Seven? Yes. But this statue is holding. What is that? Why is it purple? Uh, Hyman has a really bad feeling about this. And the Grand Thief hasn't moved an inch. Yeah, what did, if he's dead? 
you think he's... Um, hello? Are you okay, mister? Observe the grand thief. There's no reaction, nor any sign of breathing. Okay, he's dead then. How did you die? Yeah. Uh, let's get out of here and fast. We should report back to Ganyu and Lan. Oh uh oh. Ah, now what? We can't stay here. Quick, run! Flee the ruins. Oh shit. Wait, where? Wait. No, I have to go there. What the? Speed. Wait, why is my health low? What the hell? Oh, because of the bubbles. Okay. More common chest. Maybe I just had to go through left and right. What the hell? The platform just disappeared. Um, do I have to go down? Will it despawn? How do I even? Time to scout. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, you have to run. You have to run. There's no time. There's no diddy dallying. The so world respawn. Oh, shit. What the? Excuse me? How? I'll protect us. Okay, then if it despawns, I'll just... I'll just... Uh, you know. Oh, shit. I'll just wait. Yeah, I think you have no choice but to wait. Come on, I'm pretty sure. No? Really? Is there something I must do? Or are you not supposed to go here? Some BS. Adventure time. Off we go. No, that's impossible. Let the show begin. <laughs> okay. More speed. Okay. But if I want the common chest, I have to die. <laughs> really? I don't see any other way. No! No! Stupid bubbles. Ooh. Go, 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 Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. We got a door resurrection. What the heck is this platform? Bubble BS. Okay. Wait. Wait, who's this? Abyss Herald. Oh punishment. shit! This is the Abyss Herald. Okay. An Abyss Herald. But I think I fought one of these before in the. What was it called? The I forgot what the trial thingy. Not sure. That's the one. The monster we were tracking with Dane, the one Dane spoke of. by mistake. So, you are with Dainsliff, that constant annoyance in our oh. affairs. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. There is nothing you can do to change the tide. The Abyss 
Oh boy. He's unstoppable. This is a boss battle. What is this power? Ah, now 46 though. I think I can handle it. Okay, okay, okay. I need to heal though. Uh. Yeah, I need to heal because of that falling down part just now. Ah. Okay, this is a totally new enemy. Don't waste my time. But I think I can do it. Wait, where'd he go? Shudder. Okay. Get a shield just in case. Crush. Just heal a bit. Let's light it up. Okay. One? In that case, I shall stay here no longer. Whoa. What? Oh, what a tough battle. Are you okay? Oh, such a strong enemy. Who knew the Abyss Order had monsters this powerful among them? It seemed to know me. Huh? What is it? What are you thinking about? Let's just get out of here. Travel and Paimon swiftly leave the ruins. Okay. Dane's name. So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Hey, it's Dane! Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. We met the Herald you spoke of. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? Yes. Huh? How, How did you know, you know that? that? I've been on the Abyss Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. There was something stranger than the Abyss Herald in the ruins, yes. The Abyss Herald wasn't all we encountered. Yeah, there was a statue. And a thief. An inverted statue of the Seven, holding Abyssal power in its hands. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the Abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. Tell me the rest of what happened in there. So you escaped the ruin depths filled with abyssal power. And then? And then, as we got close to the exit, an abyss herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way. We fought a big battle with that thing. Maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet. Yes, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. I thought I was the one who commissioned you. <laughs> Rare opportunity with Dane helping out, maybe yeah. we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the abyss. Okay. okay, let me take a look at this abyss arrow. Increase the cooldown of character skills if they are in cooldown. What? Okay, so where's the instance? Um, look for traces of the abyss order. Wow, there's two of them. Okay. Okay, there we go. Those abyss mages just now. Were they trying to ambush us? Mm, no, actually we saw them. <laughs> They were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. Oh, is that so? The traveler here seems to like doing that a lot too. <laughs> looking for chaos devices, <laughs> chaos circuits, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, those are important materials for upgrading. <laughs> Abyss mages probably weren't looking for stuff like that. Hmm. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. Mm -hmm. However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. What are you looking for? Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? 
As the Deluxe standard before, it should be rougher with them. I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the Abyss, but I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire Abyss Order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Really? Or rather, these Abyss Mages likely fear something else much more than they do a painful fear interrogation. something much more? Something related to what we saw? Alright, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. Okay. Look for traces of the Abyss Orders. Now we're really looking <laughs> more on this Abyss Order. More speed. Shut up. Oh, that's a Ruin Hunter. Oh shit. I thought what? Let the show begin. That's not good. Crush! Oh, okay. Wow, besides the Abyss Order, Ruin Guards sure are active around here. Mm, seems wherever we find an Abyss Mage hideout, there's often a bunch of Ruin Guards roaming around too. Mm. Is that just a coincidence? Or... There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. I only heard you by chance. I don't understand. Uh... Forget it. Just some needless musings. <laughs> the connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Kanria. Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? Huh? Kanria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh. Speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name! How do you know about Conria? Oh, right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... I know about Conria. Oh. Huh? Because I have memories of Conria. Oh! You have memories of being there? But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago! Hmm... Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. I feel that Dinsley somehow kind of knew this. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? I have four options. I can't hide it from him any longer. Dane and Kanria is worth a shot, the person who woke me up, and that sea of flames. The traveler tells Dane about the sea of flames they saw 500 years ago. So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your sister from within that meteorite. It seems your sister woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? Okay. That I kinda knew a bit. And then your sister told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos. And that you two should leave this world called Tevat? Oh. The destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos. And we should leave this world. And Kanria was destroyed 500 years ago. The destruction of Kanria? She said that? Yeah. Okay. That destruction you witnessed, that's... 
History from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your sister must have understood this world better than you did because she woke up first. Okay, and why is... Because she understood more? And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path. So you couldn't escape. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. When you awoke at that time and tried to leave, you didn't know anything. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tavat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria so you could find your sister? It's the second most promising lead after looking for the seven, despite only having a place name to go on. Oh yeah! You can travel around the seven nations to find the seven, but where can you go to find the nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Really? Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented flourishing and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. Oh. You mean that... 500 years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. And that's why the unknown god was there. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed. Like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. That's horrible. What a dangerous world. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. I need to hear what explanation the gods have for their actions. The next time I see Venti or Zombie. <gasps> They must know about this. They have to. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. Now thinking about it, is that why... Is that why Lumin is in the abyss side? Oh no. Because the gods... Can be counted like maybe the archons. Um, okay, never mind. Let's just go here. Oh, let's go here. Uh huh. More traces of the abyss. I see two floating abyss mages. We're not fighting. Over there, it's more ruin guards and abyss mages. Uh, okay. Dane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. These machines are from Conria. Hmm. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. Oh, okay. So these Ruin Guards are Conria's machines, but they're not guarding ruins. Okay. These ruin guards were known as field tillers by the people of Kanria. Field tillers. Field tillers? What a strange name. So what's with the lethal weapons? They were farming equipment? 
It's not like you think. Field Tiller was just a code name. The people of Conria like to give code names oh, to so their it weapons. Is a weapon, no. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the Field Tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Paimon uh, doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> After the destruction of Conria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. Mm -hmm. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tavat. But they call them ruin gods now. <laughs> Perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time, they found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. That sounds... so sad. Wandering aimlessly for 500 years. We should put an end to their suffering. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. <laughs> but no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Now oh, I'm... Wondering if they are really dangerous. <laughs> Oh, well, they are not waking up. Oh, yeah, there it is. I was gonna say they're not waking up. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Huh? This abyss base dropped a talisman. Oh. Could it be a communication of some kind? Hmm. This talisman seems connected to the abyss herald. But why would an abyss mage be carrying it? Connected to the abyss herald. Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But Paimon can't read the writing on it. Conria script. Oh, is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of an enemy in flame, and bring glory to her highness, the princess. How are you able to read that? <laughs> what? Is that what it says? Loom of fate, initial operation. They, the abyss. Seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate weaving machine? The inverted statue in the ruins. From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osail. Overlord of the Vortex. Osayo, we saw that in Liwe, that happened. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? We weren't able to destroy it last time, it was just crushed by the Jade Chamber, yeah. <laughs> what do they want with Osayo? Could it be the same as Dvalin? I know of your past heroics regarding Dvalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's yeah. role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Last time it was Venti's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osile, just as they did to Valen? No. From the contents of the talisman, this operation goes one step further. Mm -hmm. They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the field tillers to completely transform Osile's body. Is that even possible? So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of <laughs> cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? Sounds about right. This nickname's keep getting longer. <laughs> Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though, of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. 
Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue defiled as a base, statue. That's what it is. attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. And the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. The first field tiller. The eye of the very first field tiller? <sighs> oh, Paimon gets it! All those Abyss Mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. They haven't found it yet. Let's find the eye before they do. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, mm -hmm. right? Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue, thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? Yeah, the statue looks like Animal Archon. Should we ask the Church of Avonius about it? Yeah, that tone-deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. The cathedral? Hmm. Hmm? Huh? What's the matter, Dane? Nothing. Let's get moving. Dane? What's wrong? Oh, man. <sighs> go to the Favonius Cathedral. What? Now we're going back to Mondstadt? That's a lot of information from for just for this. And it's still not over. Well, I guess this was gonna be a long one. We met Dainslave again. We met the Abyss Herald. There's a statue of the seven upside down. <laughs> and Kanria. Traveller is from Kanria. He has memories of Kanria. What? Yeah, I think that would be enough for this video then. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.